Hi, it's me again with laser tips and tricks. And I've watched a couple YouTube videos about people using diluted borax on undesirable woods. And it does help. This one was done just plain wood. This one had a coat of borax that was dried. And I, I just put like one or two tablespoons to a, like a half a cup of water, warm water, dissolved it soaked it on the wood, and then let it dry. I can't, I mean, there is a difference, but I don't know if it's worth it. So then I tried it on one of my favorite pictures, and which is this one right here that I put on crosses. I actually prefer my original better. This is darker, but it actually has lost some, a uh, little bit of the, I mean, his face is, Evidently, there's a little bit of white in this that engraves with the borax. So here's the blow up the, of, of the original, and here's the blow up of the borax one. It is darker, but I'm not going to say it's better. So I ran another test just on birch plywood. I coated this side with borax and let it dry. And then I coated this side with borax and didn't let it dry. Put it immediately in the laser and ran this line. And I ran it really light. I ran it at a 100 speed at like 25 power, which barely engraved. I think this one was done at my normal uh, 50 or 75 speed at 100 power. So that is making a little bit of difference. So if you're going to, maybe if you want to save time, uh, it doesn't go deep. It's just barely, I mean, this is just barely touching the surface. That's why I kind of did the idea of thinking, you know, the borax is only to a certain point. So I'm not saying that they're wrong. I'm just not getting the results that they got. Now that is better, but, you know, time only tell what it did to the wood because it actually makes the wood darker. As you can see, this is dry, but it's still darker already. Now the engraving is darker than the raw wood, but if I would have gone deeper like my normal engraving, it would have probably uh, taken that away. So it's not much money. It's kind of fun to play with. Uh, I'm gonna try maybe in the future with some just baking soda or baking powder uh, to see what it does. Anyway, hope that helped just a little bit. Thank you for watching.